Mario Yamasaki. All right, fans, here we go. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, standing six feet even. He weighed in at the middleweight limit of 185 pounds. He is a submission specialist raised in the discipline of jiu-jitsu. He is undefeated in his 18-bout career with a record of 16 wins, no losses, one draw, and one no contest, with one knockout to his credit, and 14 wins coming by way of submission. Hailing from Las Vegas, Nevada, tonight making his U.S. television debut, please welcome the colorful and undefeated Tony the Gun Bonello. His opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner, standing six feet even. He weighed in at 184 pounds. With a well-rounded background in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, his record stands at 15 wins, 8 losses, and 1 draw, with 5 knockouts and 8 submissions to his credit. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the longtime respected pride veteran from Curitiba, Brazil. Here is the former Index Once again, it's Mario Yamasaki, a referee in charge. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Come on. All right, touch gloves, touch gloves. Come on. Touch gloves, touch gloves. Come on, come on. Come on. All right. let's go. Interesting stare down there. Tony Bonello demanding to fight Marilla Ninja Hua, calling him one of his idols, but trash talking already. Trying to play the mind games early here tonight. All right, first one, you ready? You ready? Let's do this, come on! Roundhouse kick and Bonello steps in. Body locked by Ninja Hua. Bonello jumped guard there. Now trying to work from the bottom. So immediately this fight goes to the canvas where one would think the advantage would go to Marilla Ninja who has never been submitted. But let's not forget, 14 of Bonello's 16 wins have come via submission. I was actually surprised by that high roundhouse kick that Bonello threw. That was pretty good. It didn't land with a lot, but it showed some skill. Ninja passing guard. And Hua now will work from side control, cross-facing Bonello. I think, an elbow. I think after the stare down and the disrespect that Bonello put, uh, displayed that uh, Ninja wants to teach him a little lesson here. Definitely turning up the aggression here, delivering those elbow strikes. Of course, the one-time shooter box member now the member of the University of Fighting, the new team, he and his brother, Mauricio Shogun, who was in his corner, created in their native Brazil, and starting to really grind away on Tony Bonello with those elbow strikes. Bonello doesn't seem to have an answer for the side mount. He doesn't, uh, he hasn't tried to reach around for a lat rollover or anything. And now, there's Hua, the veteran, crucifix again, and dropping those thunderous elbows across the jaw of Tony Bonello. He needs to pop that hip, and again, the bone-crunching elbow strikes by Marillo Ninja Hua. The only thing he's popping is the side of Bonello's face right now. Ninja content with side control and elbows. He mentioned he worked a lot on his boxing, but he did make a point that the elbows would be a factor, and so far they have been. And really no answer by Tony the Gun Bonello. Again, Hua controlling his right arm. A modified crucifix position here, and again, repeated eviscerating elbow strikes by Marilla Ninja Hua. Let this be a lesson. Be careful what you ask for. You may just get it. And boy, Bonello's getting it out. Full mount by Hua. Raining down those elbow strikes. And I was trying to buck him off. This is vintage Marillo Ninja Hua. He goes back to side mount. And the crucifix. 
right now, I'm seeing that Vanello ha doesn't have a great deal of back. How much more is referee Mario Yamazaki going to let Bonello absorb? Do you talk about a guy with a tough beard, friends? Well, Tony Bonello definitely has that. A titanium jaw eating repeated elbow strikes, and now Ninja Hua mixing it up, looking to perhaps go to full mount once again. It's been all Marillo Ninja Hua here in the opening round. Knee on belly position. Posturing. Dropping those right bombs. The fight's over. Jahua picks up his 16th win in dominating fashion, always emotional, being congratulated by his brother Mauricio Shogun Hua, the UFC veteran who is expecting to return in November and December after recovering from a left ACL injury, but uh, boy, Tony Bonello, again, totally overmatched, but this guy's, this guy's got a pretty uh, tough chin. Yeah, he could take a lot of shots, but the thing is, he didn't really know how to deal with when somebody's on top of him. He didn't try any rollovers, he didn't try, didn't try to pull guard, he didn't try to any escapes. He just laid there and took a beating, and he proved that he could take a beating until the referee stopped him. He wasn't near tapping out or anything, so he's got a great deal of heart, but Ninja completely dominated that fight. I don't know if there's much work for a human crash test dummies, Stephen. <laughs> exactly, and crash test dummies uh, don't have to deal with getting slammed with forearms and elbows repeatedly while being side mounted. And that's what Ninja put Vanello through all fight long. Ninja, like we had discussed earlier, seemed intent on not even trying for a submission. And here we got full mount. Ninja steps over and just blasts away with punches and elbows. There was one point right there where he tried to hook the legs and try and pull himself out back door, but it didn't work. Ninja folded forward. And here's a look from the cage cam of the domination by Ninja. Neon Belly landing perfect accuracy with the right hand. Bringing back some memories from Pride, the referee cam there, Stephen, as we got the vantage point from referee Mario Yamazaki. Total domination by Marillo Ninja Hua. All right, here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, a referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki, stops the contest at the mark of 3 minutes, 16 seconds in round number one. Stopping the contest due to strikes, he is the winner by way of technical knockout, Murillo Ninja Hua. Yeah, we grab one of these guys. Oh, no, no, I mean, no. Okay, I'm here with the winner, Ninja. Ninja is back! You know, you told us in the meeting that you were working on your boxing skills. It was an overwhelming performance. You dominated from the get-go, and you ended it with those strikes. Tell me about where you are now as a fighter. Você falou que estava melhorando seu boxe, entrou com uma performance arrasadora, dominou ele completamente. Me fala, onde você se sente agora como lutador? Qual que é o próximo passo da sua carreira? O próximo passo agora é só o cinturão de volta. A última é belt. Eu quero o cinturão de volta e vou, vou, lutar, vou, vou buscar isso, vou conseguir buscar isso. Quero agradecer minha equipe ao DL, ao Danilo do boxe, me ajudou. A, a minha, minha esposa, vou ser pai agora. A todo mundo que me ajuda. He wants to thank everybody that has helped him, his boxing coach Danilo, the new team that UDL that they formed, and Mauricio Veio with the Muay Thai, everybody, his wife, his kid that is coming in two months, his baby, he's going to be a father, and also he wants his belt back. He feels that it's time for him to uh, achieve his, his goal of getting his belt back, and this is what he wants next. Everybody's excited. You can hear from the crowd that they love to have Ninja back. We appreciate you, and everybody, give him a hand. Marillo Ninja, who was back? Marillo Ninja, who are really making short work of Tony Bonello and obviously well on his way to maybe getting another chance at being a lead XC middleweight champion. Thanks, buddy.